North Korea's crazy leader Kim Jong-un continues to revel in shocking the outside world following a series of deadly nuke tests which he is using to get what he wants, according to an expert. Kim is masterminding a new dawn of nuclear dominance in the Hermit Kingdom in a desperate bid to remain in power, it has emerged. Dr. Colin Alexander, North Korea expert at Nottingham Trent University, said Kim is hoarding the doomsday weapons and wants to use the current crisis to gain leverage over his sworn enemy and factions in Pyongyang. He said, there are factions inside North Korea that want to establish more dominance and Kim will be developing his nukes at a rapid rate to curb these influences. He has now established himself in the North and there is not as much of a challenge against him at home, but he will use the nukes as some kind of safety crutch to keep his regime intact and Donald Trump is playing into his hands and binding the people closer to him. Despite the constant threats of war, however, Dr. Alexander said the two archenemies are speaking to one another and that war on the peninsula is unlikely. He said, don't be under any other illusion. They are talking to each other. Whether by proxy or with their own diplomats they will be talking. Yes. Trump is antagonizing the situation, but the language he is using is bluster, something that his voters understand. Especially when he calls Kim Rocket Man. It's almost like hearing John Wayne in a Western. There is no way there will be a nuclear war. If Kim fired first, North Korea would be obliterated. And if the US dropped a bomb, it would signal the end of their place as the dominant superpower. I think they are aware that their empire began when nuclear bombs were dropped on Japan and that the backlash would be so huge that it could effectively end it as well. Dot but tensions in the region remain at breaking point and are unlikely to cool down anytime soon. Trump is expected to discuss how best to contain the menacing nation during a whirlwind tour of the region next month. He has even refused to rule out visiting the demilitarized zone between South and North Korea, which could be seen as a major act of aggression by Pyongyang.